And so it's very um, frustrating and annoying that even the most basic questions about primes, we still cannot answer definitively. Um, we can we have good guesses, uh, like. So for almost all questions about primes, we can predict the answer, uh, but we cannot get the 100% mathematical standard of proof for, for many of them. And one of the most basic questions, which is at least 300 years old, is called the Trin Prime Conjecture, that um, uh, there should be... Um, so you could show there's infinitely many primes. The primes never end. You can always find primes bigger than any number you wish. But uh, we cannot find... We cannot say the same yet for prime twins. So these are pairs of primes that are differ by the closest they can, which is two. Uh, for example, 11 and 13. Um, well, okay, two and three are closer, but um, but after two, all primes are odd. So the uh, the closest you can get is, is, is two. And so we can observe that uh, every so often, you know, the primes, they they don't seem to obey a pattern. You know, sometimes um, the prime gaps are large, sometimes they're small, but every so often they, they, they come close to each other and you get a, a twin. And they seem to occur infinitely often, you know, as we, we, we can find trillions and trillions of these by computer but we have never been able to prove that they go on forever. We have this prediction that the primes behave like, basically like a random sequence of numbers. Um, and um, random sequences, with a, if, you, if you have a random sequence of, of the same density as the primes, they will hit form twins infinitely often. But the primes are not random. We believe they're what's called pseudo-random, um, that they have no obvious pattern besides the ones that we can, we can obviously see, such as them being, um, uh, being odd. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very likely hypothesis, but we can't prove it.